Hello. In this video, I'm going to go into a little bit more detail about the partial reduction of alkynes by poison catalysts. I'm going to share some examples of commonly used poison catalysts, and I'll uh, give a short explanation of how this reaction, or, or what's going on so that this reaction stops at the alkene instead of going on to the alkane. I'm not going to show much of a mechanism, uh, as, as the mechanism doesn't really lend itself to the kind of of arrow pushing depictions that we normally do in organic chemistry. Uh, if you've seen a graphical representation of what happens in the hydrogenation of an alkene to an alkane, uh, where the alkene and, and the hydrogen associate on the metal surface and the metal facilitates adding the, the hydrogen to the same face, uh, hydrogen atoms to the same face of the alkene, a similar thing happens here. So uh, there are two uh, commonly used uh, poison catalysts, and Lindler's catalyst is perhaps the most commonly used. Lindler, Lindler's catalyst has been around uh, since the, the 50s. Lindler himself was interested in uh, this, the laboratory synthesis of unsaturated fatty acids, and, and all the alkenes and unsaturated fatty acids are cis alkenes, or at least the naturally occurring ones are cis alkenes, and so in order to synthesize them in a laboratory, he needed a way to get cis alkenes reliably, uh, and so partial reduction in alkyne was, was a pretty good way to go. Um, the, the catalyst system that Lindler used uh, was palladium uh, coated on barium sulfate uh, with quinoline. And quinoline is a, a bicyclic aromatic amine. It looks like uh, this. This is the structure of quinoline. Um, the, uh, you know, the palladium on barium sulfate actually will do it, but the palladium on barium sulfate slows, you know, without the quinoline, slows the reaction down a lot. The quinoline at least. Makes makes the reaction with the alkene or the alkyne faster. Um, so, you know, using a, a metal catalyst coated on some sort of solid support, in this case, barium sulfate and quinoline, and the presence of the barium sulfate and the quinoline prevent the al uh, prevent the catalyst from reacting with alkenes; it only reacts with alkynes. The P two catalyst is is a nickel boride catalyst and, uh, and so it actually it's a real simple chemical formula N2B um, and so if you happen to see nickel boride or N2B or even just P2 catalyst in fact sometimes you're just going to see Lindler's catalyst most people don't write out uh, palladium barium sulfate quinoline uh, they'll just write out Lindler's catalyst so if you just see Lindler's catalyst or if you are doing a problem and just want to write Lindler's catalyst uh, that's fine so what's going on here? Um, I apologize a little bit for the for the low resolution graph. It's that's the best I could I could get generated here uh, in in the chemical drawing program that I'm using. Uh, this graph I'm showing uh, the reaction coordinate diagram for the conversion of an alkene alkyne to the al cis alkene and then on to the alkane. And uh, I actually have three different energy pathways plotted here. In black is the energy pathway for no catalyst. And, and so the activation energy of each conversion is very high when there's no catalyst. Um, in blue, I have a non-poisoned catalyst. So palladium or platinum, uh, nothing poisoning. The blue uh, non-poison catalyst lowers the activation energy of both reduction steps. And that, that's maybe important enough I need to, to put it in here. Lowers activation energy of both steps. Put that in here so that we can see it. The non-poison catalyst lowers the activation energy of both steps. And then in orange, I, I have shown the energy pathway for the poison catalyst. The poison catalyst lowers the activation energy but 
only if the first step. It does not lower the activation energy of the second step. And so that is a big difference between uh, the poison catalyst and non-poison catalyst. Poison catalyst still enables the catalyst to react with the alkyne, lower the activation energy for hydrogenation of the alkyne. And that, but it doesn't lower the activation energy for the hydrogenation of the alkene. It leaves that uh, activation energy high as if there was no catalyst at all. And so this reaction can stop at the alkene because by using a poison catalyst, the alkene is now less reactive than the alkynes uh, reactant. In the next video, uh, I'll describe what's going on in the dissolving metal reduction and how it leads to trans alkenes. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.